today let's take up um, cash flow from operating activities <clears throat> we have already seen uh, how to compute the net profit we have already seen how to compute the net profit uh, for uh, the adjustments of proposed dividend and all those things, right? Okay. Now, the next thing that we will see is uh, see this one net profit before tax and extraordinary items, right? This is the first step that we learned, right? And now, after this. Whatever amount you get for this net profit before tax and extraordinary items, uh, you have to make adjustments, <coughs> make adjustments for non cash and non operating items, right. Now here, let's look at what are the things to be added and what are the things to be subtracted in this, right? So first of all, you have this net profit before tax and extraordinary items, right? Now let's write down what are the things to be, uh, transactions to be added here, right? Now. In the add, you will have depreciation, right? That's a non cash this thing, and um, you have unamortized expenses, right? Now, in this unamortized expenses, uh, the things that will come under this is. Um, discount on issue of shares right then you have share issue expenses loss on issue of debentures these are the things which come under your unamortized expenses right so basically unamortized expenses which have been written off right Now the third one is all your intangible assets like goodwill, patents and trademarks that have been written off, right? Interest on borrowings and debentures. This is also to be added. And any loss on sale of fixed asset, this is to be added, right? Now let's see what are the items to be subtracted. Hmm? What are the items to be deducted, right? Now in this, you have interest income. Dividend income, any income received in the form of interest or uh, dividend. Rental income and profit on sale of fixed assets. Profit on sale of fixed assets. Okay. So, when you do all this, after adding and deducting all these, the final result that you will get is called as the operating profit before working capital changes, right? This is what you derive when you take up. Uh, we start from this. We start from net profit before tax and extraordinary items, whatever is the amount here. To that, we will add all this and deduct all this and this is what you will get, 
this is the operating profit before working capital changes right so this is the second step in our earlier session we have seen the first step as to how to calculate the net profit before tax and extraordinary items now from there we will see how to calculate this operating profit before working capital changes right now i'm going to take up a small example now here let's take this compute the cash flow from operating activities from the following data right now you have been given net profit after provision for tax and proposed dividend the provision for tax and proposed dividend has already been made and the amount is given as 17 uh, let's put it as 17 12000 right okay after this provision for tax provision for tax has been given as 4000 rupees right proposed dividend is 5000 depreciation depreciation is 2500 loss on sale of plant is 1000 goodwill written off goodwill written off is 3000 profit on sale of land Rs. 4500 then finally you have a income tax refund that income tax refund is Rs. 3000 rupees right now from this you have to compute the cash flow from operating activities right now first of all the net profit after provision for tax and proposed dividend is given as 12000 so what is the first step the first step is we have to find out the net profit before tax and extraordinary items okay mm -hmm. so let's do it here itself the net profit before tax and extraordinary items okay that is the first step so how will you do that you will take the net profit that is given right that is how much 12000 right to this you will add the proposed dividend okay proposed dividend is to be added i'll write it here proposed dividend uh, is how much 5000 that is to be added and then provision for tax is also to be added right provision for tax is 4000 rupees right and refund of tax refund of tax refund of tax is given as 3000 right refund of tax is to be subtracted right less refund of tax 
So now first of all, this 5000 plus 4000 is 9000. So that comes to 21000 here, right? And uh, this refund of tax is again uh, how much? 3000 rupees, right? So this is 21,000 minus 3,000. So your answer is coming as 18,000. Okay. So 18,000 is the net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Fine. This is the first step. Now we move on to the second one. Now here we have the net profit before tax and extraordinary items, right? We got it as 18,000, fine. Now to this we have to add the amount of depreciation that is given. So depreciation is given as 2500, so that will be added here, 2500 and then you have goodwill written off, goodwill written off if you see is uh, 3000, okay, so 3000 will also be added and what else, loss on sale of plant. Loss on sale of plant is again to be added. Loss on sale of fixed asset is to be added. And uh, I have written fixed asset here. This is loss on sale of plant, right? And profit is to be deducted, right? Okay. Loss on sale of plant, the amount is 1000, right? 1000. So these are the three things which have to be added. So it comes to 3000, 4000, it comes to 6500, right? So 6500 will be added to this. So that gives 24500. Now let's see what are the items that are to be deducted, right? Now here you have profit on sale of land, right? This profit on sale of land is to be deducted. Profit on sale of land. Now how much is the profit on sale of land? It is 4500. So this 4500 will be deducted from here. So that comes to 20,000. Okay. Hmm. Now this is what you have got here. This is cash from operations, right? Before taxes. Now in the question, they have given provision for tax as four thousand, and income tax refund is also shown. Income tax refund is shown as three thousand, right? Okay. Hmm. Now the actual income tax paid. Less income tax paid, right? Income tax paid will be this 4000 minus 3000, right? Because you have got a tax refund of 3000 rupees, right? So here 1000 rupees will be deducted from this, and now you will get whatever answer you get that is the net cash flow from operating activities, right? So that is how much that comes to 19,000 rupees. Fine. So this is how you will calculate the net cash flow from operating activities in this question, right? The thing that you have to remember here is First of all, when we calculated this net profit before tax and extraordinary items, the items that we took into consideration was this one, this one, 
and this income tax refund right income tax refund is to be subtracted here now after uh, adding and subtracting the adjustments for non cash expenses you have to deduct the income tax paid now that income tax paid is provision for tax minus income tax refund right that has to be deducted at the end okay now uh, the next step that we have is the adjustment in the current assets and current liabilities you have to take into account the changes in the current assets and current liabilities relating to the operate operation activities right okay mm -hmm. so once you do that the thing that you will get is uh, like we have written here operating profit before working capital changes now when you take into account the changes in the current assets and current liabilities then you will get the operating profit after working capital changes right okay hmm. so that is the third step uh, i think this uh, second step is understood for non cash expenses this is what you have to remember these are the items which are to be uh added or subtracted so when we take up the third uh, step after that we will take some more examples which will involve again all these things so in a comprehensive uh, question in a whole question you will have to do all these things it's not only just one step all the steps will be involved and finally you will have to arrive at the net cash flow from operating activities right so <clears throat> with that i'll come to the end of this session so in the next session we will discuss the third step which is adjustments for current liabilities and current assets